Hey guys, welcome back to Gavin's Garage. Okay, we got the uh, Cummins 2500 and the Westinghouse 2500. All right, let's take a closer look at some of the specs. They both are right at 52 dBs, right at 48 pounds, you know, but the price, that's where you get the difference. 820, and this one comes in right at 5, 580, okay? They both have a one gallon fuel tank, 18.3 amps output, three year warranty, 98 cc engines, okay? Two awesome you can see the front panel. You have your two real big reset switch. Those are your AC reset buttons. The only difference is the uh, Westinghouse, you got your fuel shut off valve right up front. So that's off, run, choke. Then you'll go back to run, okay? On the Cummins, the fuel shut off is on the side. Off, run, choke. All right. Record starter. Record starter. Okay. So when it comes to the display on the Cummins, they both utilize the exact same display, okay? But one thing the Cummins have that the Western House does not the ability to toggle through the displays. There's a little button on the bottom. If you look at the Westinghouse, it does not have that little button. So I guess this one kind of rotates through the screen. That one you can select exactly what you want to look at. All right. The Cummins come with a 12 volt, 8 amp um, output. So it has a little plug right there. You can get 12 volt out of it and also have USB. You got a 2.1 amp and a 2. Point, oh, they're both 2.1 amp USB. On the uh, Westinghouse, you have a 1 amp and a 2.1 amp. So one of them is higher and the other one's a 1 amp. This one you get the 2 2.1 amp. That's your DC restart for this plug right here. Eco mode. They both have eco mode. You can see that? Both 15 amp output plugs, but they have a maximum of 18.3 amp output. See? Okay. If you're planning on paralleling these two generators, okay? This one comes with the parallel ports, so you can add a second generator. The Westinghouse does not have parallel ports. Okay, it does not come with parallel ports. That's the main difference between the Cummins and the Westinghouse 2500. One is parallel capable, the other is not parallel capable. So make sure you uh, pay attention to the small details when it comes to picking your generator. Not just brand. All right, let's go ahead and look on the inside and see that if there are any differences. You just twist this, no tool access, pull that out. Let's just some grommets to pop out, okay? So you have no tool access on the Cummins. When it comes to the Westinghouse now, you got Two screws, all right, I just pulled out the spark plug and pushed it from the inside. So this one you need a drill, this one you have no tool access, but if you look at them real close, it's the exact same engine. You got your air filter down here valve cover, carburetor, it's the exact same generator engine. Once we got the covers out, I'm gonna go ahead and add some oil to them so we can run them and test the DBs, okay? 
Got your oil fill right here. Okay, on the Cummins, once you take the, uh, once you remove the cover, there's a little piece right here. You pull that up so you could access your oil, okay? Be careful not to lose this piece. And then you can take this off to gain access to your oil. All right, guys, so we added the oil. Don't forget your little piece. Just slide it back down. Get it lined up. You slide it down. The cover. Just put it like this. Then you just lock it. Cummins is done. No tool access. On the Westinghouse. Just put the bottom first, get your snaps, and you get your drill. Don't over tight. Okay. Recoil starter, fuel shut off. Like I said, eco mode. This is parallel capable, 15 amp plug. You got two of them two USB 2.1 the restart restart for the DC the restart for the AC okay beautiful uh, display grounding on this side you got your no tool access on the exhaust side you have your spark arrestor so this is camp and park safe you have to have a spark arrestor All right, guys, Cummins, Onan 2500. Westinghouse, iGen 2500. You got your recoil starter right here. Get fuel, spark plug access. You do need a screwdriver to gain access to the uh, engine compartment. It does have a spark arrestor, so it is park safe. Okay, you have your restart, your breaker. It does have a 1.0 and a 2.1 amp USB. It does come with the cover, eco mode, nice data center, and you have your 215 amp plug, 120 volt, and your fuel shut off. Okay, this one does not have parallel ports. That's very uh, strange. It does not have parallel ports on here. Okay. Westinghouse iGen 2500. Let's go ahead and fire them up and do a sound, quick sound test. Okay, guys, we got the Cummins 2500 running. Right at 51.7. That's an eco mode. Let's take it off eco mode. Right at 54 off eco mode. Westinghouse, 2500. Fifty one point eight. Sound about the same. Let's get it off eco mode. We can see. Fifty four point nine, the lowest I've seen. Okay guys, thanks for watching Gavin's Garage. If you haven't subscribed guys, go, go ahead and push that subscribe button. All right, 
Westinghouse 2500, Cummins 2500, stay tuned for the load test. Both of these generators, we're going to be doing them individually. I'll start with the Cummins, then I'll hit the Westinghouse, the load test. If this is what you guys are looking for, a 2500 watt backup generator, something you can still carry around, 2500s is a good starting point for you. You don't want to go to a 3000 yet, this is where you need to be. Okay? Guys, thanks for watching my channel. Have a nice day.